I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, and nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. But nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. This has to stop. She cannot continue to intimidate and, 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 and gangster her way through this. We're not giving up because we refuse to let um, Tahoe Tiffany take our community. As you can see, our village, our community, uh, myself, we are under attack. It's a shame that people can come to meetings and just tell one-sided stories and not get the entire side of both stories. In February, the board approved a resolution calling for an investigation into Hengard and her spending of village funds, something vetoed by the mayor weeks later and tabled for a later time. The mayor facing claims she misused village funds, improperly appointed employees, spent money on unapproved services, and withheld financial records from the Board of Trustees. Board of Trustees members in attendance tonight discussed several agenda items. Those include the reportedly dire financial state of the village, financial concerns once again at the forefront. I just want to reiterate to everyone, um, we are in bad shape. Some trustees begging the state to step in and help. Who's going to save us? Somebody has to save Dalton. You guys get everything that we have. We send an email, you get the financial reports, you get everything, and I've shown that in videos. Now you want me to go do some more work and show you again that you get what we tell you you should have. Now, as it relates to uh, transparency, we have been nothing but transparent here at the Village of Dalton. Every document we produce, every statement we give them, they sued us, that's another lawsuit they sued us for. And guess what, we won. She even forces her department heads to lie for her. You have statements that you receive every month, financials, since September. I also provided them to the judge in the case, so I am not lying, and you can check your email. Oh, well, we did receive, give them the paperwork. Why would we be in court demanding to receive paperwork in which we received? All the way until last month, we were receiving monthly financial reports. This month, we did not receive a monthly financial report the way that we convent traditionally would. When we talk about the deficit, last fiscal year through May, the deficit was 2.5 million in our operating account. This year through the report we got, which was September 30th, I pulled that up as you were speaking. So from May through September, there was an additional $4.2 million of deficit. So you couple those two together, the deficit is growing and it's approaching 7 million. And when it comes to finances, trustees who were here tonight say they recently won a court case getting the clerk's name back on the village bank account. They say it had been improperly removed. Just for the record, um, and the reason I guess uh, I want all of the citizens to know why we're so adamant about this budget and what's going on. May 12, 2021, a resolution was passed. The following persons are hereby authorized to be added as signatures for all city accounts. Mayor Tiffany Hanger, Village Clerk Allison Key. Any prior signatures or individuals authorized and hereby removed from the accounts, uh, prior authorization is revoked. Number of signatures required are a combination of both signatures. At the approval of payment by the village board, each check shall be signed by the mayor and the clerk. 
we have a half a million dollar check signed by Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Y'all wonder why we worried about the money? This is why we worried about the money. $561,000 check with one signature on there. It's a problem. That means that money is being spent and after we don't find out to after the check's been cashed. That's why we up here complaining. So we began with the FBI at Dalton Village Hall. Elizabeth Matthews reports many in the south suburbs believe this is only the tip of the iceberg. Elizabeth. Don, the mayor here has been accused of misusing funds. The mayor and a trustee are being sued for an alleged sexual assault against a former village employee. The village administrator now facing bankruptcy fraud charges. And today, this afternoon, federal agents popping in Village Hall looking for some information. The, the house of cards are collapsing. I think the government is, uh, is taking action. It we begin here at six with breaking news. FBI activity at the troubled Village Hall in Dalton. CBS 2's Jermon Terry is live there now. With shows the officers, four federal agents came to the Dalton Village Hall in what the FBI calls court authorized activity. The agents were told, uh, we are told, went right to the basement looking for records. The FBI spokesperson will only say it's, quote, an investigative activity. Now, Chopper 2 was over the scene this afternoon, moments after word got out in this village that the feds were in the village hall. I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, and nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody take the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down.